Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to teach you Unit 3. The title is Our World. These are the organization of this lesson. First of all, we will look at learning objective. After that, we are going to do a reading and listening exercise. And then we learn vocabulary item and the grammar point to that we're gonna do a listening in culture in mind and the last thing is writing so let's look at learning objective these are the three main learning objective in this unit first of, first one will or one how to use will or want might not or may not for prediction second one we will learn how to use if or unless plus first conditional and the last learning ob objective in this lesson is vocabulary about environment so you will learn some words about environment okay so let's move to reading and listening exercise In reading and listening exercise, first of all, look at this picture, the three picture here. Um, do you know where is it and what can you see in these um, pictures? And after that, you're gonna read uh, the text and to check your idea. Okay, so first of all, do not um, read your book or do not open your book and just try to guess where is the, the the article and what do you see so after that you can look at it here is the article bicycle revolution so let's read through this reading text and to check your idea okay after you do this exercise let's move to another exercise um reading so read again and listen match the two parts of the sentence so you gonna read the same article again here bicycle revolution and then match the two half sentence here try to make it correctly okay so learn it by yourself reading through the text carefully and take your time to read it and then answer this exercise let's move on to vocabulary so you're gonna learn some uh, words about environment in this section here are the words so we have traffic jams traffic jam pollution exhaust fumes reduce pollution level atmosphere factory fumes global warming dramatic climate change disappearing and rise temperature so you're gonna learn this if you cannot do it in english you can translate into Khmer language okay so you're gonna learn it by yourself checking your dictionary checking um, on website to understand it uh, the the meaning of it but I'm just trying to do yeah so translate it into Khmer traffic jam it can mean yes Dejarajo pollution carbon uh, pull okay exhaust fume so exhaust fume it's a kind of um, smoke that release yeah from your um, motorcycle pipe or from your car your motorbike and other type of smoke okay this we call exhaust fume from the engine okay and reduce pollution level this is a fresh yeah reduce pollution level it means that in Khmer um, Katmantoy 
kemret bompol, nah, kemret neka bompol, okay. Atmosphere, we talk about the airs, the environment surrounded the earth, we call atmosphere. But however, we can we can also talk about the atmosphere in our room, in our house, okay, as well. Okay, and the word factory fumes. So fume here is a smoke that um, that come out of the factory. Okay, we call factory fume global warming. So yeah, when the go when the earth getting hotter and hotter, it can be the cause of global warming or climate change. Yeah, dramatic climate change and disappearing mean. Uh, invisible we cannot see it yeah and rice so rice usually we use with um, rice in temperature yeah the rise of the temperature yeah okay so let's move to the next exercise about the environment we have another words like recycling litters pollution factory fume rainforest and rubbish so match these six words with the pictures here yeah a to f the uh, the picture a is already done uh, a with um, number three pollution yeah it can be another kind of yeah also picture b picture c and picture e is also kind of pollution but here we pick up on with one because the other picture gonna match with the other words okay but in Khmer let's say in Khmer okay uh, recycle uh, recycling from the verb recycles you reduce something you reduce the bottle uh, of water you, you you reduce the cane yeah glass okay liter liter so liter it's kind of um, the bottle okay that you throw away or something yeah and factory fume okay rainforest and rubbish rubbish is general garbage yeah garbage in general anyway so let's do this exercise by yourself practice it yeah try to match it so when you see the picture and you can match it correctly you get the right answer next yeah he is he are some words uh, some verbs yeah uh, that we use to describe the environment just like the word waste waste it mean that uh, we waste something yeah we do it for nothing waste yeah or it can be uh, harmful so when, when we do something waste it can be harmful for us okay um, so just like for example, don't waste much money because it's gonna give us nothing back. Okay, which is like if you waste money with uh, alcohol, with drug, with um, cigarette, you got nothing back. Only uh, the dangerous for you, for your health. Okay. Dropped. So drop opposite of um, the verb pick up. So when you drop something to the floor and then you pick up, okay, clean up, yeah, clean up, um, recycle, cut down, and pollute, okay, pollute from the word pollution, okay, so after you learn this verb and then complete the sentence with the verbs, yeah, below, number one has already done for you, so the rest you kind of practice by yourself. <laughs> Okay, so let's now learn the grammar. One will, one or will, yeah. My, not or may, for prediction. First conditional and unless. Okay, so let's learn this model verb. Will or one, my, not or may not for prediction. So first of all, look at the example. One people will still use their car, and number two, it might 
reduce pollution levels in the atmosphere. So you can see the words in bold, will and use. So when we use will, we need to use another verbs. Yeah, after will is the best form of the verb. Okay, the best form of the verb. So we have different form of the verb. We have uh, best form, we have present simple form, we have past simple form, we have past uh, continuous form, okay? We have past participle form, okay? But here we use the best form after model, my or model, will, one, my, yeah. The same thing. So when we use with modal verb, make sure modal verb can be used with every noun without changing the form every subjects yeah every noun every subject every uh, pronoun i v u they he she it we use with will okay or my or my not or want or yeah here okay so look at the rule now we we use will or want to express certain certainty and my not or may not to express possibility so you can see here although this model verb this four model verb is used for prediction but it has different prediction will and one you use it to predict the same thing to predict the event but you are more certain than when you use my or you will may when you use my and may you want to express the possibility okay so these are the two different and one more thing when you use will you use it in positive and you, you use it in question and when you use one it is the negative form of will okay the same thing my not and may not is the negative form of my and my okay so learn this um, rules and try to do this exercise yeah complete the sentence use will or um, this is a short form the contraction uh, of will yeah apostrophe double l or one yeah and the verb okay so make sure you write it correctly yeah yeah with when you use will or one after the verb the model verb you 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 will use or you are you're going to use um, the best form of the verb okay and the next exercise is uh, practice using my and my not yeah my and my not here so yeah my and my not may not my or may you can use it um a changeable it has it it has it ha sorry they have the same meaning you use my or you use may the same meaning okay so practice yeah do it and then uh, you can check the answer and try it if you don't understand just go back to the use and try to understand it and uh, practice the exercise again the next point is first conditional okay so we have um, four conditional sentences in in um, English we have zero conditional we have first conditional second conditional and then third conditional and here we learn first conditional so first conditional condition is in the present simple and the result is in the future will or won't okay so first of all look at the example if people want to travel across the city they won't use a bicycle they will still use their cars so if class here is the conditional class or condition class and we use if plus present simple you can see people want to travel 
across the city. So people is a subject plus the verb form here, want is in present simple. Okay, so if plus present simple. And after that, we can see comma here. That because we use if clause at the beginning of the sentence. And then they won't use a bicycle or they still use their cars. Is another clause that is called result clause. And this clause is used future form will or won't okay you can see they won or they will still use yeah plus the best form okay look at the rule first conditional consists of a conditional sorry consists of a condition clause and a result clause so remember that when you talk about conditional first conditional you need two clause this conditional class and result class when you talk when you um, make a condition class you need to use if plus present simple and result class you need to use future form it mean that subject plus will or one and plus um, best form of the verb Okay, um, I would like to note to give you more notice on this. So if you use the condition class at the beginning of the sentence, you need a comma after it. But if you use a result class at the beginning of sentence, you don't need to use a comma after result class. Okay, so these are the, the use, the rule of uh, conditional, first conditional. And now let's try to practice this. Um, complete the sentences, use the correct form of the verbs. Okay, correct form of the verb, you, um, you're gonna use the form. Make sure that when you see if, you use present simple within if class or reason or condition class and when you see another class which there is no if in that we call it result class so use the future form will or one so let's do it by yourself and then you can check the answer okay I'm going to the next exercise. Okay, the same thing. You're gonna learn how to use the other form. Yeah, um, question uh, here, mostly in question. So you make a first conditional sentence. Yeah, in the question form. Mm -hmm. So let's practice it. Okay, another point here unless in conditional sentence so we can use if or we can use unless but unless has different meaning from if here the rule unless we do something it means that if we don't do something so it's a little bit um, although you can see here it's kind of positive but the meaning it's a bit negative yeah unless we do something means if we don't do something okay look at the example unless we do something about it now we will be traffic jam sorry there will be traffic jam and temperatures will rise this sentence means that if we don't do something about it now there will be traffic jam and the temperature will rise okay so you can use if 
or you can use unless in first conditional sentence. But if you use unless, it yeah, it means that it's kind of a negative. If not, just mean if not, if not, if we do if we do not do something. If unless we do something mean if we don't do something or we do not do something. Okay, here. And then you can practice here. Yeah. Match this two parts of the sentence unless and unless is condition clause and match it with the result clause. Okay, practice this one at home by yourself. And we move on to the next. Yeah, it's listening culture in mind. Um, for this part, I'm not gonna do much for you. Yeah, you can learn it by yourself. Let's let's look at a listen to seven facts about water. Number the picture of one to seven. This here is the pictures one to seven. So you can listen to the the seven facts by clicking on listening and then after that uh, you can check it yeah listen and check to the check, check your answer answer whether it is right or wrong and also another one yeah what problem do some people in the world have with getting water listen again and check your answer so here is the listening um, for exercise D and exercise C you can listen to the first listening okay okay so well just let do this exercise at home by yourself I'm going to do only the specific the important point only okay writing here's what you have to learn okay writing Amy exercise A. Amy wrote an article for her school website. And let's read the article and answer how many ideas does she have for making her town better for teenager. Okay, so this is the web article that she has. Okay. Okay. A better town for teenager. Okay. I believe there are many things that we can do to make life in our town a lot better for teenager. First of all, I think that our town needs more bicycle lanes. A lot of teenagers in our in my town cycle everywhere but it's very dangerous because there is a lot of traffic if there are more bicycle sorry there are more cycle lanes in the future it will be much better for us also i believe that we need more places for teenager to go in my opinion we need more clubs and other places where we can meet. Teenager won't cause problems in the street if there are more places for us to go. In addition, teenager here needs more sport facilities. There are places to play ball games like tennis and football, but what about other sports like skateboarding? and rollerblading. Finally, I'm sure that we'll make the town better if we don't drop litter. Our town will be much better for everyone in the future if we all do something to help now. This is the article uh, which is written by Amy and in this article she has I think four ideas okay but 
the full ideas here. Um, let's answer what are they and you can read by yourself more and try to answer this question. And also exercise B, under, underline the words and phrases M is used to introduce her um, sorry, to introduce each idea in her article and circle the word or phrases that she used to um, give her opinion. So as we can see here in this article, she used, um, first of all, also in addition and finally to show um, or to introduce her ideas. So mainly there are four main four main idea here four ideas that she suggested uh, to in improve her her town for better. So first of all, also in addition and finally, and the word or phrases that she used to what to give opinion, just like I believe. Okay, I think that. Okay, I believe I think that. In my opinion, I believe that, okay, and I'm sure that, okay, I'm sure that. These are the expression that she used to give opinion. So later on, when you, tr when you write here, the, the homework, okay, the homework here, okay. The homework here, I'd like you to write an article expressing your idea on how to make better or improvement of the following topic. So when you write this um, writing, you're gonna use the example of Amis that I tell, I tell you um, earlier, that you can use what? Uh, some expression to introduce your idea. You can use some expression to um, to ex to to express your opinion. Yeah. So introduce in order to introduce your your idea. You can use first of all, also, yeah, in addition, and finally, or you can use other words just like first of all, second, third, after that, yeah, and finally. Or in conclusion yeah so these are the topic that you can write um, about so choose one of the topic or you can use your own topic yeah other topic and write your article in five paragraph essay format so you should have five paragraph at least yeah and try to use some of the vocabulary and grammar in the unit also use Amy's article to help you because it's really nice and easy and simple plan for you to to follow in um, Amy's article and here is a plan first of all you have to say where you live now and what happened or what problem in your uh, community in your neighborhood or in your city or in your hometown okay or in what other problem that you want to rest as the main topic of your writing and after that you say what people and you can do in order to make improvement in order to make it better and the last thing which is your conclusion think of a positive ending for your article if you do what such action or if you give such solution, what will happen at the end? Okay, so this trying to use um, the grammar po the grammar points is like conditional uh, sentence, first conditional sentence in your, in your article. And here are the criteria for making your um, writing. So you can see the formats, the criteria here in order to follow and then you're gonna have the full mark of 10 marks for your writing. Okay, so here are the formats. First of all, I give the point to the format, yeah. Two point if you follow five paragraph essay formats, introduction, one paragraph, three body paragraph, and 
uh, one conclusion paragraph, concluding for paragraph, sorry. And in the introduction, you have to begin your writing correctly, just like the army example. Yeah, I believe what, okay? And then tell where you live, what uh, problem you want to improve, that you got two points. In the body, you describe each main point, its main idea, well, which gives uh, with enough supporting information to your three main idea, you get another three point and conclusion, you get another one point, express a positive ending for your article. And the last one I'm going to look at how you use the grammar, the vocabulary, um, yeah. Um, and also some expression that you learn from the article, yeah, the army article. And you use it, you apply it in your writing to get another two. So these are the writing tasks, the writing homework that you need to do. Okay, so I think um, that's all for um, unit three. Okay, so thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for listening. And... Don't forget to click on subscribe for more video. Okay. So thank you everybody. See you in the next video in unit four. Thank you. Bye bye.